Hey guys, welcome back to part 2. So now that your phone is in download mode, go and open up Odin Multi Downloader v4.4.3, 4.43, sorry. And you should see that this thing here is yellow. So make sure it's yellow, which means that your phone is successfully connected in download mode. Now go over to OPS, click OPS, and select the Encora OPS. Next, select one package and click the one package button over here and click and select recovery clock mod. Now what we're doing here is we're installing Clockwork Mod Recovery which will allow you to install uh, Jelly Bean. You need Clockwork Mod Recovery to install Jelly Bean, you can't just install the ROM directly. So once all this is done, just click Start. And you see it says Recovery and then it'll just start loading and reset. So now on your phone itself, you should see the phone has rebooted and it's going through its cycles. Right? So your phone should have rebooted, re rebooted by now and it's like just slowly rebooting. So honestly, once your phone has rebooted, you don't really need this program anymore. You don't have to wait for this to count down because it'll take like forever to count down, which is like, yeah, total nonsense. So just, you can actually just close all of this if you want to. And let's just wait for it. I'm just gonna wait for my phone to reboot before I close. Yep, so my phone has successfully rebooted. Right, so I'm just gonna close up the I'm just gonna close this this application because it's useless. Alright, so now we're done with that. So with your phone still plugged in, you now want to go um oh my goodness, what's happening with your phone? Now if your phone is still plugged in, you want to now plug in your phone. Sorry, you want to take out your USB, plug it in again, and turn on USB storage. You see this uh pop up the command ask you to turn on USB storage, just click turn on USB storage. And you see uh, two different windows pop up. Now, uh, as you can see, if you go back to computer, you'll see one that says uh, drive G and drive H. Now drive, uh, okay, depending on your computer, so it could be other numbers, but for mine is G and H. Now the bigger file, now the bigger, the bigger drive is usually the external SD card, because, I mean, unless your external SD card is so small, that's smaller than your internal SD card, usually the external SD card is bigger. So go over to your external SD card, in this case, drive H for me, and copy over CM10 and Google Apps. Just copy it over. So I've copied it over already, I'm not going to do it again. Now, uh, let me just explain to you. CM10 is basically the Jelly Bean firmware itself, and Google NG APPS, Google Apps, is basically um, the uh, a program that allows you to install Google Play Store onto your uh, Android so that you're able to download apps from the Google Play Store. So once that is done, just go, go ahead and eject. Just go ahead and eject your phone. All right, done. Right, so see you guys back on the phone. Alright, hey guys, so once you're back on the phone and if you copied all the files into your phone, you want to go ahead, go ahead and turn off the phone again. Alright, so that the phone shut down. Come on. Alright, so once your phone has shut down, you want to get it into Clockwood, Clockwood Mod Recovery in order to install Jelly Bean onto your phone. So to get into CWM Recovery, all you have to do is press and hold the volume up button the home button and the power button at the same time. So press the whole volume up button this time. And once you see the Samsung logo appear, take your hand off the power button, but continue holding on to the home button and the volume up button. So wait for a couple of minutes. Minutes, I mean seconds. And you should see the Samsung Galaxy Tab logo appear and then clock with mod recovery. Now go over to wipe data slash factory set the third item on the menu using the volume up and down button to navigate and the home button to select. Now before we do this, take a deep breath and try to remember to make sure they have backed up everything. Make sure you backed up your apps, your contacts, your SMSs, WhatsApp, email, whatnot, back up everything. Okay, don't get to back up emails into the server. Anyway, so back make sure you backed up everything. And then take a deep breath, press select, and go down to yes, delete all user data. So start to delete all the user data and it'll format uh, slash data. This should not really take long and it should be done in a couple of seconds. Alright, so you should see data white complete. Now go down to the second option which is install zip from SD card and go down to choose zip choose zip, choose zip from external SD card, the last option on the menu. Then navigate over to CM10 2010 experiment 2012 blah 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 experimental. The second last option. Uh, okay, for me it's the second last option. For you maybe other things. And click and select it. Then go over down to yes, install this Jelly Bean firmware. So you see the bar come up, and it will start to install the update. 
Now this might take some time, so I'm going to be uh, I'll switch off the camera and get back to you guys once this has finished installing. Alright, hey guys, welcome back. So once you once it's done, you should see it says from install from SD card complete. Now go over down again to choose zip from S for external SD card, and this time, sorry, choose zip from external SD card, and this time, install uh, Google Apps. Alright, so go over down to yes, install Google Apps. So as I said previously, this will install Google Play Store onto your phone. So this shouldn't take long. And yeah. Alright, so once it's done, you should see it says install from SD card complete again. Now, uh, the power button is actually the back button, so click back and go over to reboot system now, which is the first item on the CWM recovery menu. So click reboot system now, and your phone will start to reboot. So the first reboot will take a long, long time, like at least two minutes, let's say. So uh, just don't get too shocked or freaked out if your phone is taking extremely long to reboot, that's normal. So, yeah, I'll see you guys when the phone reboots in the next part of this video.